So in this video, we'll study about the pseudocode. Pseudocodes are nothing but these are artificial and informal language that helps the programmer to develop the algorithm. With the help of this pseudocode, you will get the logic of your program. And this pseudocode, it is mainly written in simple, plain English language. This pseudocode, it does not contain any syntax, just like your programming languages. And because of this, it cannot be compiled or interpreted by the computer. We'll study this pseudocode by using some examples. Here, one example is taken, the addition of two numbers. If you want to find out the addition of two numbers, first statement, what we need to write, we need to take the two inputs from the num from the user side. Two numbers we need to take from the user side. After that, we need to calculate their sum and then display the sum. So the pseudocode for this example, it contain only these three lines here. Three statements are given in this pseudocode. One more example we'll study here. Here, if the question is like write and pseudocode to determine a student's final grade and indicate whether it is a passing or failing. The final grade is calculated as the average of four subject marks. So here in this case, what we need to take first, we need to take four input, four subject marks from the user side. So here first statement is input a set of four subject marks. After that, we need to calculate their average. To find out the average, first of all, we need to find out the addition of all of these subjects. So first we'll find out the addition of all of these four subjects. After that, we'll divide that addition by the four so that you will get the average of those subjects. And after you will get the average, you need to check whether that average is below 50. If it is below 50, print that the student is fail, and display that the student is fail. As otherwise, print that the student is pass. So here, with the help of these three statements, you will get an idea about the logic of this program. So here in this pseudocode, it contain only these three statements. Thank you.